Hello, and today I'm at Edinburgh Waverley. Located at the very terminus off the east coast mainland, the very northern terminus. That is a um, Scott Rail Class 385 which has had its number rubbed off, so it's quite difficult to get that, will be in the captions below. Um, the reason I'm hurrying is because on platform 12 we currently have a 397 which is ready to depart, we'll see if we can catch that. As coming in now is going to be our... I thought that this was going to be a departing transport on its service, but it's actually arriving in because it's so late. There's 397-010 here. It's a rare situation, you don't often get two 397s in Edinburgh. This service is on the heavily delayed 1332 Transport on Express service from Preston. This service was delayed at Carlisle, I'm not too sure why. But we have a double 397 here at Edinburgh. That's unusual. I'm glad we caught that. Anyway, let's see what else. Let's see what else there is to see here. There's plenty, plenty, plenty more to see. I swear, this is strange. Just not have a unit number. Oh, it does. But it's. Can you read that? Three five three eight five zero three something. I can barely read that. Let's look at the carriage numbers and see. Oh, it's 004. It's not 03 anything. Okay, it's passing out now. It's going to be the 1416 Scott Rail service starting here, bound for Donbar. Five zero thirty at the front, and three eight five double o four was the rear unit. As off I go, next up Musselburgh, followed by Dunbar. That linear staff gathering on the platform. I assume there's going to be an linear service coming in here very shortly. Oh, we actually have a Scott Rail 170 coming down this part of the station. This is the eastern side of the station, like the East Coast Main Line facing end. So this must mean that this is a terminating service from Tweed Bank. It's one of the new cluster units. I believe it's 17451. Okay, I was arriving in now is going to be the 1430 LNAR service running from London King's Cross to Edinburgh. To, sorry, to Aberdeen, not to Edinburgh. This is Edinburgh here. I'm so used to saying London King's Cross to Edinburgh that I... <laughs> this is 808108. This is the Northern Lights flagship service to LNAR. I'm not too sure how far down the platform this is going to stop, but... Um, I assume it's going to be somewhere around here, so I'm going to want to head towards the end of the platform, I think. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. Eight hundred one oh eight. This service is currently on electric. As you can see by the rose pantograph, this service will change to diesel between Haymarket and Inverkeithing. Okay, departing out now, we should have two, uh, two LNR services simultaneously. Let's see which one departs first. We've got the 1430 to Aberdeen, and the 14... Oh, we have an answer. The 1432 London King's Cross has departed first of all. Formed of two 801s, 801-112 As I go through the Carlton Hill Tunnels Starting the, the long four and a half hour voyage down to London King's Cross As has also departed is the 1430 
on the half service to uh, Aberdeen. The cooling points of this one being Haymarket, and the Keith and Kakordi, Lucas, Dundee, Arbroath, Montrose, Stonehaven, and Aberdeen. We arrive at 17.04, so it takes about three and a half hours to get up to Aberdeen from Edinburgh. There's a 380 here. Didn't realise I still did like North Barrack runs. Wait, what? It says on the board this is a 1508 to Plymouth. It's now 14.35, that's 2.20.025, which still says it's going to Edinburgh. I tell you, I've not got the faintest clue where that train is going. Platform 5, unless that's the delayed 14.05 service um, to Bristol Temple Meads. I've got no idea what that is. It's definitely not the 15.08 to Plymouth, despite the fact it was falling to four coaches. It's 380 here. I believe this is going to North Berwick. Yep, this is the 1439 to North Berwick. Should we see this one out? 380s do look very, very, very smart, don't they? Some people really don't like the design of these, but I, I, I'm quite a fan of them. They were definitely ahead of their time when they came out. Okay, spotting out now is going to be the 1439 Scott Rail Service starting here, bound for North Berwick. This train calls at Musselburgh. Uh, Wallyford, Preston Pans, Long Nidri, Drem, and finally North Berwick. The classic zero sound. Did not expect to be seeing one of those here today. Didn't I didn't know that 380 still did North Berwick. I assume they've just been cascaded to suburban Glasgow stuff. They're not even maintained in Edinburgh, are they? Okay, welcome to the side of the station facing Haymarket. Um, about to depart out any minute now is going to be the uh, 1445 Scott Rail Service to Glasgow Queen Street via Falkirk High. I'm not too sure on the unit numbers of this one. It's 385107 oh, 385 at the front, as the service is now departing. It's next stop being at Haymarket, of course. One of the flagship express services. Three eight five one oh five at the rear. Except that they're not really express services anymore because Scotland added more stops to the Glasgow services between Edinburgh and Glasgow, so now they stop at places like Lenlufgo and Polmont and Glenzy and Bishop Briggs, which they didn't stop before. Sort of defeats the point of it, really, doesn't it? Okay, I'm starting out. I was going to be the 1448 Scott Rail service starting here for Gunnar Officer Fawnton running by Dunfermline City. This is going to be the 170-4 top number, 17401. Whether it's paired of anything, I don't know. Oh, it is. That's a one five eight. One five eight seven three eight. Oh, for Glenor Officer Thornton. By Dunfermline City. Calling Haymarket, South Gall, Edinburgh Gateway, Dalmeny, North Queens Ferry, in Keefing, Rosyth, uh, then is it. I'm doing it from memory. Um, <laughs> Dunfermline City, Dunfermline Queen Margaret, Carden Beef, Loch Kelly, Carden Den, and Glen of Thornton. Um, Dunfermline City, uh, you may. Um, 
sort of think, is that the right name? I thought, I thought it was called Dunfermline Town. Well, it was called Dunfermline Town, 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 until uh, mid 2022, when Dunfermline gained city status, um, and Dunfermline became the eighth city in Scotland. Um, and then it's the Dunfermline's not a town anymore, so it was changed to Dunfermline City as arriving in on platform 20. We have its terminating Scott Rail service from Perth, which is 174.15. Very lovely. Don't you just love the Scott Rail livery? It's just such a nice livery, isn't it? And in, uh, in typical Scottish fashion, it started raiding. Okay, it's coming into platform 15F is going to be a rather unusual service. This is a uh, 158740 on a terminating Scott Rail service from Edinburgh. Yes, you heard that right. This service is left platform 17, reverse to A market, and then come back into platform 15. Which I don't think makes too much sense, particularly considering that Edinburgh's platforms weren't even too busy when this one left. This one's got a dead engine, this one only one of the um, engines in the front carriage are working. And also arriving in, we have a terminating Scott. You can't put three cars on Helen's Reserve. This um, Scott Row Class 334 coming in from Helen's Potential 334031. Actually, it's not too busy, but um, essentially the Central Glasgow, Central Glasgow bit will get very busy with this. 334031. Newcastle, Durham, Darlington, North Allerton, so it comes to sit alongside 397 Dublin What is 158740 just come in doing? It keeps like stopping and then um, it it stops and then puts its engines back on again, moves a few, literally a few centimeters and off, off again, here it goes again. And it's, it's just gonna start its engines, make a racket. Move a few centimetres and then stop. Is it going to do it again? All these poor passengers waiting to get on board this train. <laughs> I honestly don't know what's going on. Okay, as we're now, we're going to have a terminating Scott Rail service from Dog Lane. Oh, this one's got a really difficult to read numbers again. Scott, I'll clean your train numbers. 385020. Platform 1. Platform 1. Platform 1's occupied. 17471 is also coming in here. 17471. This train's not very busy. Oh, it's also only three carriages. Um, 17471, let me work out where that's from. This is a platform alteration. All these platform alterations going on. This is a platform alteration. The 1541 Scotland <laughs> service to. Oh, 17471 was the um, very early 1504 Scotland service from Glenor Office of Thornton. How the hell it managed to pick up four? Oh, it left um, Haymock at two minutes early and picked up another two minutes. So that ran, arrived, arrived four minutes early. RTT says it's closer to five. It's quite impressive. Now it's coming in now with a terminating Scott L service from Glasgow Queen Street. This is 385118. Again, one of these so called non express express services. Oh no. Fifteen forty eight Scotrail service to Ellensburg via Castle 
Bay Street School level has been cancelled. Oh no. This is due to a late running machine being in front of this one. Passengers for Ralph Kate, your next direct call. 35102 at the rear of this one. to be the 1522 to Ralph Gate, departing from platform 12. Passengers for Airtree and Helensborough, your next direct call mail service. Crawling its way into the station. This is a security message. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61. Oh, we've got an HST coming in. Didn't expect to see one of these today. Where's this one come from? Ah, this is one Bravo 80, which is the heavily delayed 1426 service from Aberdeen, 43003. Am I right in saying that 43003 is the first numbered um, uh, Scott Row unit and the earliest numbered 43 to still be in service, if you see what I mean? Because 001 and 002 are both in preservation. 43138 brings up the rear of that service. That service is running approximately 45 minutes late and was delayed at... Oh, it was delayed leaving Aberdeen, right, so it was probably late coming in. Also, have you noticed how steep that hill is? Can you see that road there? Like, there are like cars and buses going up and down it. That is impressively steep. As arriving now is going to be a terminating limo service from London King's Cross. And it's striking all blue livery. Oh, you're going to stop here, okay. That's nice, just in front of us. And with that, that's going to conclude today's video. I'm going to get back on the service heading back towards London King's Cross. It's 8.03.005. Um, thank you very, very much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. And I will see you in another video. Not entirely sure if I mentioned this. If you come to the top of Jacob's Ladder, oh, there's a lot of steps. You can get some really, really, really good views of the station. Local tip. Also, there's Arthur's Seat, I believe that is. Um, also, so they could probably get some pretty good shots of the station. I sort of discovered this a bit too late. Bye everyone. And goodbye from Edinburgh Weekly.